bad day. There's plenty of max, lots of engineer turrets. This would take a huge push. I mean, a whole platoon from uh, Matheson to take back. And air is not going to make any difference here because there'll be plenty of medics uh, and whatnot. They don't need the Sunders technically, uh, at least not in 60 seconds. You know what, we're going to approach a, a checkmate situation soon where the, the TR can push onto Anatha and the VS can push onto Xelas. But it looks like. Technically speaking, we're almost at the point where we're, we're, we're even now, even though it seems that Matheson has been falling behind, simply because um, Waterson are going to be one sub base away from attacking uh, Anatha, the capital, and, and technically speaking, uh, Matheson are one sub base away from attacking the Xelas capital. So that it, it's technically balanced in terms of progress, but I, I don't feel that Matheson uh, is doing as well as Watterson. No, they're not. I, th I think they were at the start. I think there must have been some communication problems or something like that. And the TR, Watterson, have got their act together. Ten seconds to go. Not sure what this Venu Galaxy is going to be trying to pull over. Now. Do the TR have anyone ready for the next base? Uh, with so many people, you think you could afford one infiltrator to go to the next base and secure it? And it does not look like it. Nope, nobody here at East Anatha Comary. Looking at that hex, there are TR in the uh, Anatha Comary base. Well, there's somewhere a new, around got themselves a burning sunder uh, as a sort of backup spawn for East Shore. Uh, training camp, so they do have a spawn location, but it's in a really perilous location on the north end of the road. They've got Liberator and a Galaxy flying around trying to bomb any of the tier that are coming out, but I don't see Tiara capping much. East and Arthur as it is now. You're right, so they did manage to get somebody over there. Um, are they dropping off mosquitoes maybe? I see one or two stragglers. Uh, they must have got a squad beacon down now. So I'm seeing heavies. Yeah, there's a squad beacon in the hills in the back. So that's HSTL. I tell you what, as they're doing that, TR are starting to cap Split Peak Pass. So, okay, any of the new that are currently at Eastern Shore Training Camp, they've, they've already been bypassed. So all the fighting there is pointless. TR that are currently at Eastern Shore Training you know, Camp, they can either stall, but what they really should be doing is hauling themselves to Eastern Anatha Comary as quickly as possible. Uh, some of the new air, the gal two liberators have cordoned onto what's going on, and they're trying to stop the TR. I don't know why the TR are outside in the open, but it looks like they've got themselves on the cap point. It's fairly established in terms of as long as they don't get themselves killed in the open. There's no Sunder though, so this is, well, I take that back, there is actually now a Sunder, I just noticed it to the north. Some Maxis and some anti air. Well, that's one heck of a steep cliff to get over. Looks like the air is going to pick off. Oh, but they've hacked the vehicle terminal. There you go. That's where they're getting the Sunders from. So they've got a second replacement. So the Matheson air is trying to stall uh, the um, the Waterson spawns. I mean, they realize the value of um, Anatha because literally they are two minutes away now from being attacked on their own capital. That said, the TR look very cozy inside of its. Uh, yeah. This building here. No, I think the TR has to lock down. Again, has been captured by the VS. And the problem is, there's a lot of uh, water and uh, air going on. Uh, if we have a look at the four capture points, uh, they are still. Oh, uh, they've just dropped on Charlie. So oh some, wow, they've got a cap oh, on them. Oh, they did actually do it. Like we said, this time that the, the Watson um, infantry have just totally been bypassed. Now they're spawning in now to the uh, Zealous West Air Dog. The VS have got to hold this. This is super important right now. And it looks like they've picked off any of the last straggling TR that tried to come in and interfere with it. Although the TR are now spawning in to um, Zealous West Air Dock. But it is critical, and I stress critical, that Matheson holds on to this. Because this is their uh, one shot to push for the capital Zealous Biolab. It could and really I've just be a the base tags. trade. It's Das Anvil holding Zealous West Air Dock against the TR. It's doable. It is doable. But the, the critical thing here is that they are what... Um, they are slightly overpopping the TR, and I stress slightly, but they have no spawns. Uh, it's going to be a squad beacon or bust. And the TR greatly outnumber East Anatha Comary. They're still fighting going on East Shore Training Camp. Don't know what that's all about. But it's 1 minute 12 for East Anatha before they can go into the Anatha Biolab. And it's 2 minutes 50 for the Zealous West Air Dock. 
So, I mean, it, it is almost a base race here. That's what it feels like, but it's really perilous for the Matheson people. I don't feel they have enough people defending or helping out. But I think the Vanu can take guys off points at split peak, shove them into the bio lab, have them ready to defend. They're, they're not going to get it back. They're going to get max pushed. You can see it on the minimap now. They're about to get max crashed. It's, it's a perilous cap building. This is not the same type of cap building as the one in the north. The one in the north is a much easier cap building. A defender. Oh my god, here comes the TR reaction force. That is a lot of people coming across the hills. I think it's the Iron Wolves, maybe with a couple of other uh, outfits. But there's no way the Venu are going to be able to stop this. Although I'm not entirely sure what the TR are doing, they're all kind of hugging the wall. This is painful. You do sure not want to have 12 guys stuck in that building. I don't know what they're doing at the window, they really should just be pushing in. Although the engineers are repairing from the window, so I guess it works really well, but it's begging to get explosives. They need to be pushing in the door, not, you know, arsing around on the outside. Uh, the Vinu defenders are doing a stalwart job at stalling as long as they have, but they're you just know what? outnumbered. The Vanu has still secured the northern entrance of that building, so they can they can run off and heal up and get out of there, which is why the TR is having a problem. The TR should just flank. They should be pushing in from all directions. They had so many. Come on, Morrison. Take the point. I mean, they don't even realize they're being flanked now. I don't understand why the TR are being so timid. They pushed down in a fantastic push. They should have just pushed in and got it. So Matheson, fantastic job of holding this capture point. 60 seconds to go for this capture point. Um, okay, conversely on the north, Eastern Natha Comrie has now fallen to the TR. They have 59 to 41%. They can now push into the Natha Biolab. But we're going to stay here and watch the Silas West Air Dog game at the moment. 60 seconds. The thing is, the, T the Venu have got to hold this for 60 seconds and I don't get this. Come on TR, grab yourself a pair of balls and just run in. I I Come on, push in! God, this just irritates me. I think they've got too many res grenades, too many medics on point that the TR are not going to get inside on this. I mean, if we look at the population numbers for this base in, in total, it's actually 50-50. So, there must be some sense on the side. They are surrounded on all sides. 20 seconds, TR's got to push. Now, finally, desperation of time makes them push. Uh. 18 seconds. You think the TR just wanted to have a little bit of drama and wait to the last second before they decided to move in? That could wow. well have been it. Well, that's, uh, that's the end of that push. So, um, I can see the TR now. Uh, regaining control of the base and then moving to Z a split peak pass or what they could do is just have a couple of people defend Zealous West Air Dock and now push on Anatha quickly because if you're looking at the populations we've got 12 to 24 for uh, Matheson defending oh no that's hostiles actually they're pushing into Anatha now and it doesn't look like they're going to lose the, um, the Comary either so we'll head over to Anatha Biolab See are already starting to cap points on Anatha Biolab now we've got some of the new air flying overhead, but it doesn't look like it's making much of a difference. Anatha is my three capture point. Um, you know what, there's no point being in the air at Anatha. They're using there's the a max crash building. coming on to B point. Yeah, they're, so they're moving in, they're, they've got the banana uh, building at Anatha. I wonder if they're going to push from Bravo, which is the room where the generator is for the SC. Well, they've got the gen going down already. And C point. You know what, there's very, there's far too few Vanu here in no, the No, this, this is critical now, because as soon as that generator goes down in two minutes, the SU is going to be exposed. And even then, they've already moved on to three capture points. Uh, there's there's no other option. The Venu cannot afford to attack Z uh, Zealous West Air Dock. They've got to sacrifice it and Split Peak Pass for a period of time and just go back to Anatha Biolab. They've got you a... know what? I don't understand this. The VS have the highest pop here, and on on the on the continent. Yeah, on the continent. We look at. I mean, I was thinking, well, maybe the TR have more population because it is the test server. But I mean, looking at it, it's fifty-one percent Venu. So what's going on here? Is, is it guys wasting their times at split? Peak? Now there is twelve twenty-four fighting currently at East Anatha Comary. But everyone, all the Venu Matheson guys are fighting at East Anatha Comary. They're not helping. They're not being useful at the moment because what really matters is the bio lab itself. Yeah, I'd say uh, the guys sat there in East Anatha Comrie. Uh, and they've got uh, they're their six, server in the justice. Nearly, they're seven minutes away from victory, and the SU Jane goes down. It could be even quicker. 
And it looks like that's going to happen. It looks like the Venu defenders, as we're looking over the minimap here, they're totally straggling. You know, there's no cohesive plan or defense, whereas the TR, they're just focused on the two capture points. Plenty of maxes and support. I'm seeing Vanu Liberators chasing down TR Sundries who are just having a laugh outside while they're capping their base. Now, I can understand why maybe some Vanu are still trying to fight in Zealous West Air Dogs. I can see numbers of 12, 24, uh, 4 to 3% fighting the West Air Dog. And there's looks like there's some TR waiting at Split Peak Pass to hack that as soon as the defense of Zealous goes through, which is fine. All right, I think now we're beginning to see more Vanu spawn and come in a more defense fashion. Yep, but the amount of TR maxes there is huge. Some of the streamers want to know how, if you know what control plus scroll wheel was in OBS. Control scroll wheel? Yeah, it changes the Generator speed at which you can move the camera. Like slow down, speed oh, up. Yeah, it can go really, really fast. I, I try not okay. to. And I apologize if I'm giving you whiplash here, but uh, we're looking at the. Um, Together. Concentrate push. Alright, so the Venue are saving it, but the SCU generator is vulnerable, but now they're being pushed properly by a lot of maxes in the infantry on the outside of uh, Bravo Catmore. Looks like they're gonna get B back. Yeah, that's a huge max grass coming up from the banana building. Into the upper floors of the shield building. To be fair, the observer camera. You can fly around as we're looking as the VS uh, pick off fairly quickly as we're moving here. But I can hit the shift button, which is very dangerous to do it inside because it goes like this. Really fast and... oh great. And, and it gets you trapped in places. Well done, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, so that is it. fantastic. That well, we're just going to have to redeploy. We'll just hide from in here. You you can press it again and move, wiggle around. No, yeah, yeah, it's not wiggle. gonna happen. This is what happens I mean, when it, you show off. It may off. take you about ten. Never minutes, press the shift button it. when you're inside a building. Well, it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, so anyway, while I'm respawning, okay, the Venu have defended <laughs> Anatha Biolab and they're counting pushing uh, east Anatha Comrade. So they're giving themselves a bit of breathing room here. Do you happen to know what the timer is on left on left on this fight? Farrah. Uh, yes, uh, there is another 40 minutes left in the stream. Oh wow, this is going to be a 40, 40 minutes of biolab camping. No, I, I hope not. Oh. TR on East and Alpha Comrade look like they're getting ready for another push on the Alpha Biolab. I don't think and there's enough the defenders, there's only about 5 or 6, they're pushing pretty hard. I mean everyone that was attacking Anatha just respawned into East and Anatha Comrade and now they're going to push it. So I mean, if I was inside Anatha Biolab as a Venu person from Matheson, I would be hauling my ass over to the capture point at East and Anatha Comrade. Simply because even though they've lost the cap point, they've still got a few seconds you know, I think maybe about 50 seconds, we'll see in a second, right, minute 20 to prevent their base becoming vulnerable again. Right, but... Uh, I might take that time to send some guys down to Exalast Air Dock. Now, uh, conversely, there is another fight going on at Split Peak Pass again, which we can't race to back and forth. It looks like the Venu are slightly outpopping the TR, it's about 12 people given what the population percentages are. Um, they're just having a, a general skirmish and it looks like there's quite a few TR fighting at Zealous West Air Dock as well, so it looks like um, the numbers are almost split evenly in terms of who's fighting on what lane. Alright, the Venu are now pushing in from the bio lab. There's a lot of maxes. I wonder what kind of support they've got, however, because you just can't go with maxes by themselves. The TR have got a couple of guys on the field. Oh, so much C4 falling! Wow, that looked really painful. Um, it's a tricky base to get into as well because of the high wall section. Uh, but it looks like they've got the capture point. We'll go inside again and have a look. Yep, they've come up from the big stairs. They flanked the TR from behind. And they've managed to get the capture point. So, alright, now there's a lot of Terran Max coming in. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. How are they going to get in? They're coming in from the north. Oh, two entrance doors with another set of doors behind. Okay. Okay, here we go. A bunch of Terran Maxes coming in on uh, to East Nath Comrade. 
I'm not sure how well they're going to do because there's not a lot of support here. There's a lot of new inside the map. You know what? I'm seeing a lot of CR aircraft moving around the rest of the map, like Split Peak, that kind of area. They should be helping their guys on East and Arthur Comoray. Oh, the new are pushing the tier back now. So, I mean, Waters and Tiffin got themselves a spawn building, but I mean, it looks like. Oh, wait, are they pushing? Yep, okay. So now, um, Watersons, they're pushing in from the other side now, to the uh, south, towards the cap point. It's kind of. I don't know, even it feels as if the TR put slightly more numbers. Well, that the new I think they do. Yeah, the TR do have more. Uh, yeah, and they're pushing up from the staircase here, so that's how they're getting themselves in. I don't know, my sense shows how much I've played this map. There's another bit of layer underneath. That's how they're getting in. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like the the Vanu are better infantry fighters, but that being said, the TR infantry have managed to overwhelm. Well, they're also working nice and uh, tight as a community, but it's not just working together as a tight community. It's there's a right composition with the right classes. You've got enough medics and engineers and heavies and maxes to work together as a team. You don't have an instance where, well, who's the engineer? I'm out of ammo. Well, I thought you were the engineer. No, I th thought you know, you don't have that kind of problem. And TR are up. they've got the upper platform now. Let's push down for the uh, cap. Yeah, they're going to be getting point. Doesn't look like there's enough Fanu here to defend. Good con grenades. That look painful. Pretty violent back and forth. But the catch is now there's a lot of TR on the cap point again. So I wonder if they've got many TR inside the battle. I'm just having a look now. Well, there's a Sunder to the north, but there's some fresh armor. Uh, that Sunder will not last long. We can go outside and have a quick peek. You know what? The Sunder at the north gate's probably... Uh... Probably there for the jump pad. Okay, so this looks like the main spawn for the uh, news. Got some uh, anti vehicle turrets to try and pick it, to prevent the tier armor pushing in. Doesn't look like it's going to last very long. And the tier's got the high ridge now. Oh, this looks like a farm for Waterson. Plenty of vehicles for uh, Waterson as well. And, oh my god, they got the low ground. This is just going to be over real soon. Yeah. comes to build Kukonga yet, if it wasn't bad for the BS, it is now. I'm a little confused as to why the TR have a vehicle convoy when attacking a biolab. I, they were just uh, cleaning up the, the new spawn. I, th I think it's like a guaranteed thing. I mean, they were already going to lose because the TR you know, worse and had the high ground on the ridge. But now that's just... Uh, made a I suppose. Okay. Well, at least they've got another Sunder to the south of um, East uh, Anatha Comrie. They've got about 70 seconds before the base becomes vulnerable again. Well, while that's going on, we'll go have a look at Split Peak Pass. This is when you get to use shift, because we're flying in the open when you can't fly into things. Or get yourself trapped. Um, I think they've actually got four pack points. They do, they have four cap points. Split Peak Pack is safe. There's a big and air force moving from a Split large Point air force. to Xelas. Have they got themselves the cap point? They do have the cap point, Xelas West Air Dock. So they've managed to get their hands on it. Um, what's the timer? 1 minute 30. Wow, we missed that. Okay, so this is interesting. 30 seconds until the TR can attack Anatha again, but um, one, uh, 90 seconds for the Venu can attack Zealous. This feels to me like they're in a better position than they were last time on this cap. They've got more air support, probably better spawns in terms of the galaxy, and it looks like the TR are more focused because they're at number 2 to 1 here. So even though they're in the spawn building... It's going to force the TR to do something drastic there. You're going to have to rush onto a Anatha and try and take it there. I'm not sure they're going to manage in so time. they've already got 12 to 24 in Anatha. There's very few defenders. Most of the VS are actually trying to stop an Anatha cap going through, which hasn't happened. So Anatha's now fully safe, and Anatha Biolab is now open for attack. You know what, seconds. if I was attacking this... I would have a squad inside Exelas already if I was Vanu. I'm camping their spawns. Darts down everything. The thing is, I mean, the TR push a couple of maxes, but it's kind of scattered. These guys are going by themselves. It doesn't look like it's a coherent push. If we have a look inside the cap point itself, 20 seconds. No way they're losing this. There's far too many infantry this time. Uh, There's the Vanu on D already. In Zealous Biolab itself. In, in the Biolab, yep. They've got some stalker in building there. Of, uh, West Air Dock, and they're just getting picked off. They're not going to do that. But the 
time of Farah on another has started ticking down. Uh, okay, so Bravo is now flipping for um, Zealous Bio Lab. It is going to be a, probably a. Oh, don't tell me I got myself stuck again. No, I got myself stuck in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay. All right, Hold your hand, I think yeah, you fly wait, the observer wait, cam wait. about as well as you fly a mozzie. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I can't argue against that. Okay, so all three cat points are in contention at Zealous. If we fly over quickly now to Anatha to see what's going on. Oh, the TR have got Anatha on lockdown. So I don't the... see those Vanu getting out of the spawns. It's a race. And uh, oh, but they've got a huge Water head start. Are though. absolutely winning it. Yeah, and TR have got the spawn room locked down. So even if the rest of Matheson recall, they're outnumbered two to one. The SU generator is about to go down in 60 seconds. The base itself is 90 seconds from victory. Whereas it's a six-minute cap for Zealous, which means they do only have two out of three of the capture points of Zealous Biolab. The problem here is, what do you do if you're Matheson? Do you forsake Zealous and go back? You're gonna have to. They have to. You, 70 they've seconds no until choice. they lose the base. Every single Matheson has to recall right now to an Athabio lab and assist. There's there's no question about it. They must recall. But they're not. I can see their their infantry fighting in Exalas. I think they've said, screw it, it's done. I'm gonna I'd imagine their comms call. right now are forsaking it. Does land run all call? 30 minutes left. <laughs> That's optimistic. <laughs> this is not lasting 30 <laughs> minutes. Okay, they've managed to get them. Well, set. they're flipping Bravo and they're flipping Charlie. It's going up to a... Okay, it's up to a... Oh wait, this, it's going back again, it's 70 seconds now. It's still a 5 minute, so they've only got 2 out of 3 cap points as Zealous Biolab itself. They need to They need to get another point. They, I mean, at the end of the day, they really need to grab all the I think the BS are going to take the spec, actually. If we look at the percentage numbers for the... Uh, the Venu have come back and forced, it's 59 to 41%. There's no reason why the Venu can't push back to TR now and grab all the 3 capture points. Yeah, they will. So, now this is the thing, you re-secure the biolab, you get everything safe, and then if you can, you hot warp over to Zealous. Because they've still got the Zealous cap, oh it's two minutes now! They must, oh wait now it's three or four minutes, so the, the points are flipping back and forth, but the fact is, the Venu are slightly outnumbered at Zealous, but they're heavily outnumbering at Nanatha. Waterson almost pulled it off. Oh the SU general was charged however. 30, 40 seconds till it goes off, I don't think they're going to be able to pull that off, there's not enough people defending. Alright, SU's been stabilised, looks like the inside, only Bravo, I mean A's flipping, but it's, I think it's just like uh, one guy and there's a, there's a Max that's going to go back, I think. If we have a look at Bravo now. I tell you what, VS are actually in a better position than they were before. They're going to get They've back. got nearly <laughs> equal pops in Exalas. Ah, oh, the TR have redeployed. They well, came back all the TR that have been pushed out now of Anatha, to me, I would have said, you need to respawn into Zealous Biolab now immediately. And you can see that in the population numbers, because it's gone up to 65-35. Well, this this is an interesting scenario. What do you do? Do, do you try and keep it 50-50? Do you race between 70-30? How do you split your forces up to take different bases? There's a ball. Go for it. I think that's the wisest choice. I think they should use their elite forces on defense. The kind of guys who are experienced at farming biolabs and can sit there with two to one outnumbered. And they should have their the rest of their forces, the bulk, attack the enemy biolab. That's what I do at least. A couple of easy crew um, are inside the spawn room from his I think they're just being a nuisance preventing the VS from fully leaving the base. But if we go have a look at... Show me what you're made of! Uh, looks like they're uh, going to try and push and save... No, there's too many TR at um, East Anatha Comrade. It doesn't look like the VS are going to be able to do anything there. Now we'll have a look at Zealous now. There's still some air fighting going on the outside as well. I'm not sure the air fighting's so important though anymore. I think it's time to ditch vehicles like that. Just get on foot, get in the my lab. You know what, I'm in Anatha, I'm seeing no radar darts down at all from either side. Um, and... Apparently was flipping. It looks like there's just a couple of the new stragglers. Yeah, Tierra have started pushing back on Exelas West, uh, Airdock. Exelas West Airdock. We call 
Well, they got this in about 20 seconds. I mean, there's a couple of, I'm guessing, just annoying hacks, so we'll have a look at A now. Nah, there's, there's nobody there, A. There's just a couple of stragglers from the venue. I mean, they're coming in from the spawn teleporter. There's a lot of them, but the fact is, if I was TR here and if I was Watterson, I'd have... Oh, you've just saved the base, so start capping the, uh, the air dock immediately. Good work. Which is exactly what they're doing. There we go. We just had a scene. I tell you what, the TR have been very impressed with that's, the That's good by Watterson. Game. That's very, very good play. Immediately counter-hacking, um, forcing the BS uh, that are inside on Atha yeah, to put totally off foot. And now we have a role reversal, where well, I think it's the Iron Wolves and maybe a couple of other uh, collective TR defending uh, Zillus West Air Dock, preventing obviously the Matheson from attacking Biolab. And now you have VS trying to grab that capture point back. Uh, all while they're doing that, Tierra still manages to hold on to an Arthur. Uh, or hold on to an assault on an Arthur, keeping up the pressure. Yep, it's still roughly 50 50 numbers. Um, and they've still got plenty of Anissa and Arthur Comery as well. I think we've got, like you said, an exact opposite situation. The thing is, the TR can spawn in the bio lab and they can do the jump pad and drop over, so getting back here with this jump pad area is much easier. You still looking at the Zealous West Air Dock? We are cur yeah, currently in the Zealous West Air Dock. Um, the Venu are trying to get a fight, but there's, there's too many Terrans all over the place. You know, kind of a, an arc waiting for the Venu to drop down. I don't see like a, a coherent, organised push by the VS, it just seems like a lot of collective mini skirmishes going on. It's 2 minutes 30 until this base uh, goes in TR's favour. What's really impressive is the TR are holding from the outside. The thing is, this I mean, is about... The um, this is, yeah, well, that, that sounds good. But this is about two, this is about 3-4 minute cap, right? So what you could do is that if you're TR, right, and you capture um, Zealous Air Dock, right, that's a 4 minute window where if you even if you don't defend, right, you have to... The, 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 the Miller, sorry, Matheson, sorry, has to wait there for 3-4 minutes. It means that you could then put all your forces in a 3-4 minute window and attack an Atha bio lab with everyone that you've got, while the Venu maybe take back Zealous Air Dock. If in that 4-5 minute window you don't get an Atha bio lab, then you call back to the bio, you know, Zealous bio lab and you do it again, and you take back the Zealous West Air Dock. It basically, what I'm saying is, it buys you a window of about 5 minutes where you can use all 100% of your forces on the enemy capital. I think that's a very smart move. Lord Filder had a pretty good idea. Send all your squad leaders to the opposite bio lab, kill everybody in your home bio lab, and everyone instantly spawn squad deploy. That could attack. work. I mean, the TR could do that now, technically, because um, they've got about 80 seconds until the space falls through. I mean, population numbers, it's still. The new have slight. There's VS on Eastern Arthur Comrade, though, that's taking it down. Trying to do the same thing, but they're at a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, it's 44 to 56. I mean, uh, I think TR's gonna get this. We'll come back in 60 seconds. We'll just have a quick look at the, uh... There's Comoray. like one or two Vanu on, um, Eastern Arthur Comoray. Yeah, barely any. It looks like the TR's already responding. It's a lot of infantry and Max is coming out from the spawn room now. I'd... So, what I'm... happens in 40 seconds is gonna be quite interesting. I mean, it's a stalling attack. I mean, the VS are basically got this, which means it's buying them breathing room inside the Natha uh, biolab itself. The thing is, if you're VS and you're at Natha biolab, this is the time that you want to haul ass and get yourself to, you know, the uh, Natha Comrade. TR are holding A point. It's not ticking down yet, but give it a couple of seconds and, and it will be. 20 seconds and the will. Ah, uh, there's more guys on point though at Natha Comrade for the Vanu. Could this be the work of a stalker cloak? No, it's a bloody battle going on. But they've got it. Yeah. Oh, I see some medics and some res grenades for the Venu, but uh, no, the TR got an answer. The question is, what do the TR do now? Do they decide to go for the enemy capital? Do they try and buy even more time by going for split peak pass? 
I mean, I don't think they can try. Base. It would take really long, five minutes, you know, four cap points, trying to grab it. If they got split key pass, it would give them something like, you know, nine or ten minutes to attack the bio lab. But, um... It just seems unlikely. We'll see what they do. We've got a couple of stragglers of the video kind of hiding out the air pad here, all getting picked off. And in the north, it would surprise me if, yeah, it looks like the TR have responded in kind and needs another comrade. So they've managed to save, uh, you know, capture one and save another. So, I mean, Waterston still has the advantage here. Now, um, I just hope it doesn't happen until uh, I'm back in game. Lanzer, explain to everyone watching what happens if, at the end of time, no one's captured the enemy capital. If no one's captured, I mean, they're, they're fighting to the teeth right now, so I might enter it into sudden death mode. But if they don't capture it, the rules are that it's draw. So, I feel that it's a good idea to go into sudden death mode, and whoever wins that will be declared the actual winner. So we'll I see. see. I think you could ask the stream. I think they would. Uh, they would love a sudden death. Yeah. Well, we haven't ever done the sudden death mode before. It, it's something I have to definitely test to see. It's close. But... It's definitely closer than any of the. Um previous server smash games you've had. That's that's true. Well the the Miller Miller and the Connery one was fairly close. Uh yeah we, we had we had the um, surprise factor causing a bit of trouble there I remember that. True. Carried by third faction carried by third <laughs> yes. Faction. Um, superior race. Well the new still have the capture point. Uh Comary, three minutes but doesn't look like gonna be able to hold on to this for very long. The respawn point's too far away. It's a nice defendable little base here, even though it's not on this capture point. You've got two, you know, entry double doors, um, and then the small staircase door is blocked off. So you've only really got to defend the small staircase and uh, double doors, but it's really susceptible to grenades and cogs. There you go, so the tier managed to get their hands back on the capture point. It does it look from the minimap that the VS are going to be doing a kind of concerted push in any numbers to make a difference. Strugglers are four or five. Though, oh wait, no, tell you what, there was a gal drop and the infantry come in hardcore. They've managed to take the capture point back. We have a look at the population numbers here. It's literally 50 50. Oh, what now? Thankfully, Thurum. It is still neck and neck. Oh, then I'll tell you when we're. Alright, we're streaming again. Uh, apologies about the crash, guys. It's a test server client, it's always entertaining. I think the Vanu have, have done a wise move, but it's kind of reversing. It's like the, the battle moved, and then it it's going in the exact They're opposite direction. They're slightly underpopped at the moment for Eastern Atha Comorade, but they've got the capture point, and that's what's important. Yeah, I think you can handle a little bit of, a little bit of underpop when you have air dominance and you have guys on the point. Yeah, you are live. The TR yes. are kind of being hemmed in, and there's an air battle going on now. I think they realise they got they got to get air control of Eastern yeah, Alpha Comrade. Yeah, pulled more air, and we can see that they're um, hesitant at pushing it. Now they are pushing now because they have the sense of urgency. It's only six seconds before Eastern Alpha Comrade um, flips in the Venus' favour. Go in and have a look. At the capture point. We'll see how many's actually there. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the hell's going on at Split Peak Pass. It doesn't seem like there's any point being there to me. It's, it's not on the capture point, they're all fighting outside the capture point in the door, which is quite smart. It doesn't look like the TR is going to get inside, there's too many Venu defending, especially with only 30 seconds. Like the TR that's outside, we can see they just need to push. Just run in, run, 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 go, go, go! Go, come on, get inside! God, shoot! Wow. Okay, that max should have gone first, resonate on the TR. Oh, they're pushing into the capture point. They're going to get it, looking at the amount of max is there. not enough. Oh, wow, here, oh, finally comes in the TR at the last second. Not enough Venu. Oh wow! <laughs> Matheson just needed a few more people. Maybe a bit more C4, more engineer turrets or something. But that's a good uh, last uh, last 20 second save by uh, Waterson. 
Actually, looking at the cop populations, I think what's going on is the TR are just trying to harass them at Split Peak, use minimal forces to get maximal amount of uh, annoyance, stop the TR from, I'm oh, sorry, the Vanu from creeping up to Exalus West Erdok again. Well, the thing is, right, you've got, what, 90 seconds on the Split Peak Pass, then you have about another four minutes on the Exalus West Erdok cap, right? So it's about a five minute window. Now, unfortunately for the TR, they've got a three minute cap they have to wait for for East and North Comrie. If East and North Comrie was fully secure right now, you would have about a five minute window you could send every single tier you've got again to go to Anath. I mean, the, the way that the fact that these are bio labs and the fact that there seems to be a balanced team, so you have to balance your numbers between attack and defense, this probably will go to sub death, I think. Now, uh, I, yeah, I think you, you've got to have over pops. I'm gonna make an all call. Yeah, we've lands on all call, 15 minutes. Till match end. So, so does anybody know what the over? Uh, sorry, the the sudden death rules will be. Oh yeah, I had it mapped out long before. Okay. All right, we're gonna see something exciting here. <laughs> it's gonna I, be epic. I think the TR should try something. Really, I think they should really try for it before it gets into sudden death. See, from what I'm seeing here, I think Waterson. Uh, I mean, for all the you know smart plays by Matheson in here and there, Watson are slightly outperforming Matheson. I feel Watson would feel outdone if they lose this. Uh, personally, from what I've seen, I think Watson maybe not deserves the win, but it has a slight edge. And it's, it's theirs to win. The Whereas way I see it, it's Watson moving faster when they have to, like, like they did with yeah. Exelas. They're just they're coming up with a little bit Almost smart play. Almost off the uh, Venu. Do I? Sorry, it is curiosity because I got a couple of whisper tells on Teamspeak. Uh, Vanu, Vanu, how would you say it? Vanu, Vanu, Vanu. Like you're riding in your van, you know? Van, okay. And then U, Van U. <laughs> I don't know, Farah. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to describe it. I think we're British and van we now have to pronounce yeah. better. Vanu, Van U. Van U. <laughs> yeah, you say Vanu. And then when you say Wokook, you say Wolcock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, it's Wokok. Isn't it? I think it's pronounced Wokook. Nah, it's Wokok. Wokok. <laughs> Just like how, and I apologize for the language here, ladies and gentlemen, but as we look on uh, Amrish, the Ascent and Lufkorp Central and Raven Landing and Rock Slide Outlook, they're all on one big mountain, collectively known as Skullfuck Mountain. Um, or at least that's what we know at Eleanor's Miller. Anyway, going back to the fight, it looks like yeah, the, the fight. Van. van uh, anyway, Vanu has managed to grab the capture point only for a few <laughs> seconds. Um, and the TR's responded to the kind. I think the TR, that is Watterson, are getting ready to go back to the bio lab. And they've cleaned up all of the Vanu's uh, spawn points and whatnot. So far. Yeah. Um, and in, in the south, uh, there's 1224 TR defending West Zealous um, Air Dock. And that's probably because oh, there's a big fight going on at Split Peak Pass. So I mean, it looks What's like Matheson is trying to end this. Well, I think Matheson, you know, they're defending, but they're they're spending what time they have. They've got air over here. That's why. That's probably what's flipping the numbers. Uh, I mean, Matheson isn't, you know, just defending to play for the, you know, the the sudden death. They want to win themselves. So they've managed to get themselves over four cap points, which means uh, West Air Dock is now vulnerable. Although there are a couple of TRA, they're flipping it already. Oh, damn. There are such huge VS Air Forces though on Split Peak moving over to Exelas. Oh, you have to think. Due to the nature of these bases, that they can't be bombed in the open, TRs managed to get themselves two points on uh, Split Peak Pass, and they're now flipping the Charlie. So they're just being a nuisance. Now, the Vanu was set up at Exelas Biolab already at the um, the West Air Dock, so That's they're just late. waiting to get those points back. The th things are not going to be because I'm looking at the minimap here, and there's about at least ten people being harassed at Split Peak Pass. They're going to have to come back. As long as the... <sighs> yeah, it's, it's tricky for the uh, for Matheson here. Yeah, there's that squad in the the banana building, isn't there? Okay, back at um, Eastern North Comrie, looks like it's been fully secured by the TR, which it has. And oh wow, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maxes currently in the bio lab. They are pushing hard now. Uh, some fighting going on at the uh, air pads. A little bit of max max play going on. Um, for all the TR maxes. Uh, they need to be properly supported, otherwise they can't do anything. I think the smart play here is the SU gen. Ignore the cat points and maybe just go for the SU work. What do you think? Or do you want to keep going? For what are they going to have? About ten more minutes. I mean, the I'm SU not caps sure. Gen, 
So you definitely want to hold Bravo cat point because, well, Bravo is actually lowered down, but you want to hold the Tetris building that's next to Bravo and make sure the SU generator goes down. 70 seconds and then the generator, the actual SU itself becomes vulnerable. They're currently 61 to 39%, not to say the VS won't come back, um, but at the moment it's swinging again in Waterson's favour. There's a lot of venue from Matherson at Split Peak Pass and Zealous West Airdrop trying to attack themselves, but they're going to have to recall shortly. This is all up to the TR. Can they play smart enough? If I'm TR now, right, Zealous is defended. Zealous has at least five minutes before it can be attacked itself. So I would call every single turn I have, every single one, right now to attack the Biolab. There's no yeah, point holding back. Smart Pull everybody move, into the attack. And 30 seconds for the gen to go through. They've got themselves B and Charlie, so that's fine. Um, they don't need to push for A. They don't need to realistically push for Charlie. That's just a good vantage point, keeping them out of the uh, the gen room, and it gives them a close run into the um, SU itself. We're looking at the population numbers. The Venu are now recalling, so it's, it's 53 to 47. Still in favour of the um, TR. This bloody TR armor column's going on here. You should be driving. View I mean, I understand you're probably driving to the vehicle pad, but you need to get all your forces into the biolab. Well, that's what I've been saying earlier. They've just been people have been getting stuck into their vehicles and not getting out of them. It's you need to get out of the air. You need to get out of the vehicles. This is the push. If you don't do this, it's going to go to sudden death. You need to get into the biolab. I mean, the SU. Hey, all right, hey, so the SU is vulnerable. Now pushing into the SU room itself. Um, it's a lot of grenades going on. They are doing great matches. performance on C there. Come on, guys. There are trying to defend. Generator. They're being attacked from all sides and on the roofs, and there's a good light assault getting good shots in the, from above. I think he's trying to arm it. It's the SU jet. I can't tell if it's. It's been armed. There we go. Right. From now, my side, I'm TR, part of the platoon. Every single TR from Waterson needs to defend that generator right there. 50 seconds until Waterson gets a huge advantage here. Alright, so this has to be conveyed to Mil uh, uh, Matheson right now, because Matheson has... I don't see very many. I think Matheson's just done a mass recall. They're up to 53%. Um, they've done a max push. I think they've got 30 it. 30 seconds. The thing is, even if they push out, the tier has to hold this and then clean up. Every single tier needs to get here right now. 27 seconds. Can anybody stop this in this time? Is there anybody on it? Let me have a look. Um, you've got a couple of maxes. No, you've they're, got they're one stopping TR it now. trying to, one Vanu, sorry, trying to go for the disarm on the point. Yeah, two of them. There's I see... multiples. No, I said it's been saved. Last minute clutch save. I mean, the problem is not enough TR backing up. If this was a purely 50-50 fight, you had all the TR here because it's much easier for the Vanu to recall and, and spawn in. But for the TR, it's a lot harder. They need to. They sh they had plenty of time to call people here. Ah, oh, TR did. put so many forces though on side on the uh, SCU now that they're just getting wiped off all the other points. Yeah, but I mean, the catch is, had they got that SCU generator, it would have been a huge advantage because um, I don't see any nearby uh, spawn buildings. In I mean, okay, they could have spawned at Anatha Southwest Gate, admittedly, and then teleported in, but it would have been a huge advantage. They would have been over if they had add that but the problem is when you put all those guys on that small little point you're gonna get killed yeah. you're gonna get grenaded well, the, the catch is there wasn't that very many of them but they should have I guess theoretically killed the SU generator and Charlie but uh, it didn't go that way which is a shame so I'm guessing all the TR are now respawning at East Anatha Comary uh, they may have Sunders on the adjacent area and running around on the ground floor uh, in terms of the south Split Peak Pass is 3 to 1 and there's no enemies at Zealous West Air Dock, so we'll go have a look what the cap points are like. There's no quid in a TR See, I feel like there. when attacking Biolabs, it's it's better to go for the spawn camp, especially in the new ones. The spawn building's so small, the teleporter only takes it to the ground, so it's not very effective for flanking around the enemies. Okay, well at Split Peak Pass, uh, the Terrans have managed to get their hands on Charlie. And it looks like they're possibly flicking Bravo and Alpha. To see somebody in the building. Well, we've got so little time left, and I'm not expecting to see anything happen at Exelas these days. Yeah. Well, see, this is a big difference between Planet Side 1 and Planet Side 2. In Planet Side 1, it was reasonably difficult. You could spawn at the nearest Sundra, the nearest tower, and the nearest base, and that was it. And if you matrix yourself, it's like binding or hearthstoning or whatever you want to call it, then you could also spawn at another base and another continent somewhere else, but it was just one. Here, I got the feeling it's too easy to redeploy or get back from one point to another. What do you think? In Planet yeah, troop movements, it's too much. You can get a vehicle from every base. Yeah. 
there's so little worth to these kind of uh, force multipliers vehicles. They're literally like a, a second skin. Well, the Venu have managed to grab themselves all three cat points. They've got resecure, um, and they've managed to get themselves West Ellis Air Dock cap going again. But I think it was only realistically one person. I don't see very many attackers here. I think in this kind of battle, a point system would have been the best best solution. Well, but... there's been so many back and forths that may have been worked, but I guess that's... Oh, well, there you go. The, the observer camera can get pushed around. Yeah, I don't believe in point systems. I think you they think? get too complicated and they fuck up the game. Oh, okay. It's, the game's not made around point systems, so it's, you know, it's up for debate. There's five minutes left until Deathmatch by the looks of it, so... There's possibly an infiltrator at the West Ellis Air Docks is about to be saved with TR. It doesn't look the VS are ready to push out, even though they've got 1224 from Spitby Pass. Uh, Anatha Biolab was a VS push on East Comma Ray, but that's now being saved. It's 70% uh, to 30%, or 69 to 31. If every one of those TR and Anatha Comma Ray made it into the Biolab, they could have it. There's a lot... Uh, Matherson still has an Air Force flying around. I mean, I get why, maybe, but it doesn't feel like they're being that effective. Either if they want to fly around and be useful, they need to attack East Anatha Comrie and you know try and stall reinforcements coming from the spawn room to the capture point. At the moment, flying around you know the West Air Dock, you're not really doing anything. You don't have a squad or team on A, although it could just be one or two people there. Interesting. There must be an infiltrator around here. Okay, eyes fail me now. Where's that infantry? Oh, there's a heavy. Oh, it's a couple of heavies, alright, okay. <laughs> Land on all call, four minutes left from the match end. Oh, you heard him, Farah. Four minutes. Four minutes, it's not enough. For the Matheson can't win in four minutes because it's three minutes twenty for Zealous West Air Dock. And then it's, could. it's at least three minutes for the Biolab um, for Zealous, so. That doesn't really matter there. We'll go have a look to the north. As somebody who plays Planet Side, I kind of, and squad leads, I kind of find it a bit frustrating when you can see how something could be done. You know, it's, it's that kind of uh, advantage we have in our observer cameras and relaxed dispositions. Well, of hindsight, yes. Um, it, it is certainly more stressful when you're leading, getting things done, but. Uh... A little private duel going on here between this Terran heavy assault and Skyguard. Oh, and it's an infiltrator. <laughs> He's bailed out. There we go. Oh wow, TR are doing very well in this biolab now, though. Voice. Oh, nice work by the infiltrator. Okay, so, oh, there are so many. Again, Max is another Max crash, as you were saying, at the Anatha biolab. Let's see what happens here. There I'm is. Sure if Barely sure enough have, time. I'm sure if they, if, they have, if they have control of all three points, we can make a small allowance to allow them to finish the cap or just free to Changing the rules on the fly. Of course. Well, they've got three cap points, right? And by looking at how much time have we exactly got left? We have two minutes left. Well, it's one minute 28. It could be, I don't mind extending it by one or two minutes. Oh, I do. To... It's do or die. <laughs> Not gonna give him the chance to win on a uh, technicality. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tierney's no, no, no. <laughs> Tr Watson has to call every single person. There they is had no an hour excuse. and a half to do it. Yeah, there's no excuse for not having... Yeah, they've got higher pop, yeah. they TR has higher pop, and they're stuck, the Vanu is stuck in his Yeah, bombs. but the problem is that they're, they're losing it. Oh, SU's going down now. 60 seconds again, SU's gonna get charged. Could this be a last minute... I mean, literally a last minute win. Critical. SEU's been charged, 58 seconds now. I think they're gonna do it. Crap. It looks like <laughs> it, they need to hold A. The A you know what? the Charlie. There's no Vanu anywhere else. There's Vanu in the air oh, over Charlie, Charlie's Comma, an right? issue. They can push into Charlie now. They need to defend Charlie. Oh, that's a good push by the VS. TR are not. Oh my god, the TR again. Uh, they're reinforcing Charlie now. They're coming in. Let's go down and have a look. One minute left on match. It's gonna weaken oh, the guys in the middle of the biolab. There's still not enough now, okay, now they're coming with the max. Right, they're losing C now, finally. 
What does the TR do? Because it looks like they're going to lose A as well. And there's nobody on A either. That was BCP, I think. Oh, one minute ten. Yeah. It's not enough. It's still a minute, though. I mean, these did kill, technically. The oh, why are they holding the SCU? No. They don't need it. Oh, four seconds on the SCU generator. They're saving it. Oh, it's seconds. a max. He's picking them off. Oh, it's one second stabilization save on the SU generator. And Max wasn't even able to kill them all off. It uh, looks like the Venue are spawning in now in enough numbers. They've got B, 50 seconds. How long until the bit map's over? 20, 15 23. seconds. Oh. It could happen here. All right, no, no. The, the... No. How many seconds? That's probably that's about half 10. Past. That's half past. We started a couple minutes late. Oh, really? Five. That's. Four. Three. Two. One. That's it. That's the match. Wow. <laughs> that was so close. It's been saved. It's, it's already done. Okay, okay that, that you really need to, right. to um, explain now. This uh, is a uh, land drone all call. By popular demand, we're going to go ahead and enter in a sudden death mode. So I need all outfits to go back to their warp gates and get in gals. No maxes. Alright, explain to us what's going to happen for the viewers, because I don't All know right, I know. Alright, so what I'm going to do, sudden death mode is knives only, in this case. What? Knives <laughs> only. Here's what's going to happen. I might as well explain to everybody at once. All right. There's lands on all call. call, I need you all please to be quiet so I can explain the rules of sudden death. Alright, here's how this works. This is an all or nothing battle. You start in galaxies, at your warp gates, and you'll be going to a point that I'll tell you to go to. From there, the only thing you may do is use knives to kill each other. You may not use any other weapon. If you're using anything other than a knife, you're wrong. The only exception I make are the gal drivers and the sunder drivers. You're able to ram people, but that's it. Huh? The Maybe point is, a a sudden death mode, you're, we're going to be going to Hayoka Chemical. Whoever takes that point wins. But the only way you can kill each other is with knives. You can respawn as however you see fit with Sunders and Gals. No max suits are permitted, no grenades, no explosions, turrets, rockets, vehicles. None of that. How do you determine a winner? Whoever went takes the point. I kind of feel like that gives Waters a huge advantage. Not that they don't deserve it. Wait, wait, but... wait. You're fighting over where? Hayoka Chemical. You can't even cap that. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> derp. Yeah, that was a derp. Are we allowed to revive? Ooh. Yes. What about beacons? But I will I will say that over calm. Hold on a second. I just hit a snag I forgot about. So at this moment, make sure you get in your gals. Mate, just have Oops. a giant knife fight. I, I, I realize you've got your own rules. Drop them on one point in an open piece of land. Have everyone drop. Have everyone on foot, just looking at each other, and then have them charge each other and have a knife fight. Last team win standing wins. Yeah, I just just straight off knife fight, no problem. Straight straight knife idea. fight. Yeah. I'll go find us a flap turret please to land. No rezzing, no respawning. Did you find a place? Yep, okay, so have it between a subterranean nano analysis and Silver Valley Arsenal. There's a nice bit of flat land and a road. Subterranean, where the hell is that? Uh, west side. Silver Valley Arsenal subterranean analysis. There's a road and it's nice flat bit of land. I will jump out and just be calm clash and people can see me. Subterranean. Yeah, so just to say it over again, it's as as someone said in chat, it's pretty much what we're gonna hear. It's a straight Are you talking TDM. about in between Silver Valley and Subterranean? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, a straight TDM knife. No abilities. Alright, new plan. No uh consumables. Just let them talk. Only knives. New plan. We're still doing sudden death, knives only. VS, 
go to Silver Valley Arsenal. TR, go to Subterranean Nanite Analysis. And then when you get there, we will tell you where to go next. So, Farah, should we say this is Braveheart versus Longshanks? <laughs> there's no NC, so there's no terrorist freedom fighters. So we can't. Oh, uh, it's true, it's true. It's true, you can't scream freedom. Alright, so once again, knives only. You may use nothing else except the gal drivers. No, no, dude, just knife fight. Fuck the no, just just get here. Yeah, Fly just, here, just get, get out. On the We're basically gonna have them all standing, look at each other, about twenty meters apart, and they're just gonna charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got nice. you. Um, did you guys say if beacons were allowed? No, uh, straight nothing, up kill. No. There's no. There's you can meta. This is gonna be a straight up death match. Yeah, there's no, there's no reviving, knives. no resonate. So uh, no reviving. If I the one person that came and asked, I'm gonna go ahead and renege on that. So no reviving, no respawning. When you get to Silver Valley and Subterranean, you're going to be meeting in the middle, in between the two points. The two so hexes. that flat piece of land. Don't kill each other until we say go. So go ahead and drop in that flat piece of land. VS, make a line. TR, make a line. And stare at one another. Okay, so tell them that, uh, C -cl that the character name is um, C Clash Cam 03 is standing in the middle. C Clash Cam 03 is standing in the middle. Wow. You're on, you're on the road, right? Yeah, that's that's a lot of galaxies. Holy crap. You're on the road, right? Yes, I'm on the road. He is that... on the road. Wow, that's a lot. Ah, shit! No revives. Don't kill me, bitches. No nothing. Knives only. You realize it's gonna be really difficult to, to administer, but we'll just oh, see what happens. Oh, it's gonna be epic. Yeah, it's we're gonna, gonna have to go. Be epic. We're, we're, we're going off a good faith here. So now, uh, while I have y'all here waiting on the line to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so basically, form a line, guys. Tell them to form a line. Um, TR I'm making did. a line. The VS need to form a line. Get out your vehicles. Yep. Form a line. One one. What the fuck? Stop shooting. It's gonna be really hard to pull this off, right? But we'll, we'll give it a go. Last man standing wins. So if you're way the fuck away, 50 miles away, you're not gonna be counted. Whoever's is the last man standing in the middle there is going to win. This is gladiator style. Try not to have vehicles in the middle. Don't move, don't put your vehicles in the middle. That fucking live shoots. <laughs> You're gonna get team shoot, killed. Shoot. Oh wow, this is where I wish I had dev powers. Alright, TR, get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer to Farah there. Yeah, roughly with the same distance from Right where the lib is right now. Go ahead and move yeah, up yeah, to that. Yeah, underneath the lib. Just come a little bit, there you go. See the comm clash? I can't, really, can't hear me talk, but never mind. Alright, that's good, that's good. That's good. Right. Where's everyone else? Tell them to get. <laughs> I need to set up Team C. They need to leave all their uh, vehicles. Yeah. Don't don't get your vehicles anywhere close to the where the fight's gonna be. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Form a line. Right there. Don't shoot. Back up from one another. Get in your line. Get in your line. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having some rendering issues here. <laughs> Get in your line, we're gonna start here pretty soon. Now, this is the deciding factor of the match. Gladiator, Death Style, Long Shanks versus that fucking whatever the fuck his name is. Wow, I'm not rendering this is it. So, eloquent, so eloquent. Yeah, that. This is it. If you are not in the middle, knife fighting, you are not counted. So whoever's last man standing there is gonna win. You may wow. not spawn again. You may not get res, don't use grenades, don't use anything but a knife. Are y'all ready? If you're with me, jump up and down. Jump up and down. <laughs> Everybody jump. If you're with me, jump up and down. Alright, this is going to be a ref's decision, guys, uh, on who wins. 
Alright, you yeah, do I'm the sorry. countdown and tell him to go, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now go ahead and shank each other. Do it, go. Oh my god. Well, I can't, I, I gotta say, I knew this was going to happen. Oh my god. What happened to no vehicles? <laughs> this is the... Okay. Um, I'm gonna call... TR has more alive? Looks like TR has more alive. TR have moved up. Even though with all the... Yeah, even with all the ramming and whatnot, I'm gonna say this is a Watterson's victory. Alright, so I vote for Watterson here. What do you say for yours? I'm gonna have to go with Watterson as well. Alright, what about you, Aluya? I, I'm i flying in because my string is lagging like hell, but I'm gonna have to stick with my boys and go Watterson just okay. because I'm gonna and be And Lanzer, do you have an opinion here? Because it looks like Tears won that quite hands down. Wow, they got fucked up by them. Yeah. It does look like TR have won the DM. Yeah. Okay, well... But there's a lot of foul play from both teams though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's not super competitive, so I'm, I'm gonna say Watterson won that. You, you okay who's, with that? who's still standing? Oh, there's a lot yeah. of TR, there's a lot of TR, so... Ah. Oh well, I, I'd advise just coming up and have a look at all the gals parked everywhere. It's... Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and declare wow. it. TR, and crazy. You, you win this one. GG Watterson. Alright, we called it for, for real, Joe. Yep, for real, it's TR. Okay, do we want to get, uh, have a couple minute break, minute, two minute break, and then we'll get the server reps up. Alright, this is Lanzer on all call. If you did the interview at the beginning of the match, go ahead and get back to the interview channel. So we can do a post interview. Zap swins again! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking <laughs> Still prefer we just did a uh, one. Yeah, one I'm gonna have to work on that side death mode, man. You're gonna have to work. That was interesting. You have to understand that there's gonna be huge amounts of interference from outside. It needs to be very clear, yeah. or maybe just no sudden defense. It, it like a point system or some territory capture or whatever to make a clear winner. I think you can easily uh, taking just the leaders of these outfits. I, I'm and still wondering why we them. got Zephyr to the very beginning. Hey, Sergeant Mild disconnected. No, because at that at that point, a brawl between leaders doesn't represent the how good a how good a um a server is. Because well, for me, both servers cheated. I think we know where we're at. <laughs> I, th I think people Wait, what do happened? look into this a lot more seriously than you guys. Hey, Waters is supposed to be. I love it. Yeah, fun as well, guys. I mean, I think awesome like fight. You know, yeah, I, wanna, I, wanna, I do want to let y'all know this is not community clash. This is not pal. This is not any of that hardcore stuff. You know, this is for fun, first and foremost. We're, we're having a friendly sc So, you know, don't be... Don't get all mad because we do a sudden death mode with knife fights. You oh, know, no, it didn't, really wasn't much of a knife that. fight. No, it's <laughs> probably just <laughs> not the best thing to do. Just for so, but it, it's Galaxy just, Explosion, it then I got killed by a teammate. I think a gal round <laughs> yeah. would have worked better. Like, galaxies ramming each other, that would have worked better. Last Galaxy Standing wins. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Thanks, Lenzer. All in all, That's that was an awesome yeah. service. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, I cannot in good conscience call TR the winner there. Really? That was... Really? No. no fucking dumb. Are you like serious, Most of us with the Zephyr. What? Fuck them. Nah. We were further in. Calm yourself. Lanzer, Lanzer, we you got in. it. Keep going. But what is... I heard some people talking about hacking. What was... Or cheating. What was that about? Hacking. You can't... No, it was just it's test, it's test server. You can't, I mean, no one makes yeah. cheats for a test client. It just, it's All right, still, I just, no cheats. I there saw was, someone on in, our side of least, chat our guys what? couldn't, uh, they were having a lot of trouble seeing the map. I don't know if Watterson had that. Yeah, that's a lot of trouble seeing the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah it my little display. triangle for my character disappeared a couple times. <laughs> yeah, uh, I personally was having trouble. I couldn't aim the entire time. You know, those oh, switches yeah. with your guns. Yeah, I was fucking... <laughs> Yeah. Rotational recoil that they have that's, in right now yeah. is. I guess that's suffering. what it is. Yeah, it's really bad. So. Oh well, Next that time... was fun as shit. Yeah. Next time we do it on Brigs. No one's ever on there anyway. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> can be the best latency. Shots fired. No, it's actually not that bad because we're. I mean, the cable that connects Australia and the U.S. is pretty close to the servers. Guys, that was fun. But the only suggestion I would have is uh, no air-to-air -air lock ons next time. That yeah, just freaking ruins. <laughs> that just ruins this guy. Sorry, oh, Alex. Right. 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 So much. It'd be this so much better if everyone was Everybody chasing each down, other with their minigun. Yeah, the this top was gun, the uh, server smash. Lock -ons, bad oh, man. Kind of silly. Matheson nice. versus Watterson. Here's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and issue the edict. This was a draw. Oh. First and foremost. <laughs> Good call. Matheson didn't win. Watterson didn't win. The win condition didn't get fulfilled. And what that knife win? fight wasn't even really a knife fight. So. <laughs> Yo, I got fun. Using an old guy. Was fun. Was fun. Was a lot of fun. Not even close. Being a draw. But Farah <laughs> and Furiosis were your casters, so we're gonna go ahead and go to them now. Take it away with the uh, the questions and whatnot. Uh, pff, okay. Um. Well, Furiosis. Um. We just saw the fight. Uh. Personally, I think Warson had the upper hand there on the um, the North Biolab. Do you have anything to, you, know, you want to ask ahead right away? Yeah, I mean, I felt like that fight was maybe the first five minutes, first ten minutes. It was uh, it was in the Vanu side, but the TR then did a huge air pull just at the right time and managed to maintain air dominance for the rest of the fight. It seemed like so. I'm, I'm wondering who made that call. Uh, I'm Oxymoron. I was a platoon leader for Platoon One, and I have to give that call to my air guys. They did an outstanding job keeping the air superiority for most of the time. Uh, so big shout out to Prey, EZC, OPTR, and Rigguard. Uh They organized pretty much every air pull, and they kept the air for the entire time. Um, on top of that, um, my guys, we pulled air a few times. I don't know if it was at the time you're talking about, and I doubt it was as a groundbreaking when we participated that you mentioned, but there are a few times where we... Just saw we had to clear the skies, so we did a mass pull. Well, those worked, and and the uh, the TR managed to sort of maintain our dominance. What happened with the what was the general strategy coming from the the VS guys for the entire battle? It it looked like you were pushing one side and then switched over to the other. Do we have the the Vanu platoon leader here? Uh, I know I kept uh, the. DAQRY SVO tank guys trying to push towards uh, their bio lab just to keep pressure up. Mm -hmm. yep. DA, was, UXB, I and SVO noticed... were pushing the western yeah, there you line. Go. Um, yeah, you got it. At one point, while the uh, like Das Anfall and all of them were just hammering down on Split Eek and just being completely relentless, um, we noticed that I was talking in Mumble with Huge. And we noticed that uh, Silver Valley has um, had a big fight going on, but no one was on point. So I pulled, I had one of my squad members run up to East Shore and drop a beacon to where we could pull a spawn up, get a stealth Sunday up, and start that point flipping while everyone was busy fighting at Silver Ar Valley Arsenal. And we had him just barely held off at Zealous West and Split Peak. And from there, we just built up on the momentum. Hey, can I say one thing before uh, I leave? I just wanted to comment on something real quick. Uh, I think this, the, the lanes that you chose, I, I don't think this was a, a good choice. Main reason is because yeah. Split Peak Pass is almost like the Crown version 1.0. Like from the beginning of the game, it has four points. So we constantly had to go back and back hack and resecure back hacks. So I think the less points between lanes, the better, because I honestly felt like the eastern flank was probably easier t for them to. For, for the south to push on, and we had a harder time pushing on their biolab from the west flank. And, Would you uh, prefer well, to, you add, have to, to add, add on that? To add on that, analysis. we also had a problem with uh, the test server, since it's, uh, you can't see the point sometimes. Yeah, the test server is so, comical. We had a problem yeah, like, everybody going problem to the next, the yeah, yeah, no, I agree, but we were going back to like a base and putting a beacon up and dropping the point, and then realizing that we didn't have a point because some people couldn't see it. Like the people we will keep on the other base watching over to, you know, to uh, yeah. see if we lose a point, you know, they couldn't yeah. see the points. Trying to that's that problem. I couldn't see timers it, points, or even on my HUD, I couldn't see them. It was really well, yeah. The, of... yeah. the thing with Split Peak as well is with the four points, they can have someone on just one or two of the points, and there's no timer going, which we could at least see. So if you, since you can't see the points, if there's four points and one is flipped on a base so, like that, you can't tell what's going so on. So who was that. the platoon commander for Matherson? 
I was uh, I think a lot of us were too. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who is I? Say the name. Andrew Fado. Fado. We had Fado one Andrew. NNG, guys. Yeah, we had one NNG platoon lead and one D8 platoon lead. Yeah, like as far as okay. The and what about Waterstones? When... Myself, Lieutenant Huge, and Oxymoron. Yeah, I'm writing it all down so I can get the article down by Wednesday. Well, the thing is I'd like to ask is see what you guys thought, right? Would you be, I mean, do you like the two-lane format, or would you think it'd be better if you just do, like, a, a single lane between two, Definitely. you know, two The two-lane, well, in my opinion, was amazing. It yeah. did make it so it's just one grinder in the middle of the field. It allows you to, you know, send people to this other side. Oh, they're folks. They're looking at this left lane more. Let's, you know, try to sneak up on the right lane. Yeah, and um, this many people, that kind of it, stuff. You definitely need two lanes. It can't work on one lane. Okay. Yeah, one lane would just a be a fun. complete meat grinder. Two lane, two lanes is it was in at least in my opinion is the better decision. What would be great because it allows for more choices for us is if they release Nexus because Nexus is great in in terms of the lanes you have. Yeah. The constraints that we've got is realistically, Amrish at the moment is the only continent with two lanes between bases. If you look at Indar and Esamir, there are no two lane uh, connections between two bases. There's one last two lane uh, lane that we haven't tried yet which I'll show this in the stream, is um, a connection between Sungri Amp Station and Ikanum Biolab. You can actually go through Ikanum Garrison, Lithcourt Fortress, North Grove Post to the north, Moss Raven, Sungri Power Hub, and then down to Sungri Amp Station. And then the other lane is Sungri Westgate, NC Arsenal, the Augur, Ikanum Tri Triage Station, and then Ikanum Biolab. But again, you have the same problem that the NC Arsenal is bang smack in the middle, and it's a three capture point base. So in all uh, well, um, points, yeah. there's three capture point bases, and it's kind of like a catch. Yeah, see, well, what, it's, I, I think it's not. I th see what I think it is is it's not the amount of points that's the problem. It's the actual size of the base. I mean, Split Peak is huge, and the problem that we kept having was between the different elevations of all the points and between just the massive sheer the size between, of the base. Time the time to between point the points is yeah. ridiculous. I mean, just looking at the Amherst map now, I mean. The lane probably between Kawadi and Wokuk, those two lanes would probably be the best. I mean, West Pass, Watch, West Pass Watchtower, it's a three-point base, but they're pretty pretty close together as yeah, far as that bad. tower is concerned. We, and they're also two amp stations. We ran, uh, mm, yeah, that is true. Kawadi amp station, yeah. We used yeah. that in the last pickup last week, uh, the last smash, and the next one, chances are we are going to be using the other dual lane. The for the, the uh, for the next match in the north, but, um, that that's feedback. And it's thing. just we're trying to offer. It's more of a it shows people more. We're we're, st we're still in pre-testing. We're still finding what out works, what, what works, doesn't. what doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. And we're hoping as we are trying all these lanes, we can work out this could be our definite lane. We can use this. What about the uh, the start of the game, right? How many people do you dedicate to air? Because there's that delay where it's all neutral territory that you're fighting. Was it just one huge air fight? Like, did you did you have most of your guys go air? Did you figure we need you want to kind of have some guys on the ground stalling the enemy? What did you guys do there? From what yeah, I recall, got... there was one platoon for Waterson that was air, and two platoon and the other platoon capping Zealous West, Zealous Northgate, Subterranean Nanite, and Split Peak Split Peak Pass. Oh, two platoons that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah we had uh, at least in my platoon. I don't know about Ender's platoon, but uh, in the NNG platoon, we had one squad of air, and that that was it. The and then we divided the rest between uh, Goder, NNG, and Jackie Chan stunt team, and that was pretty much the NNG platoon. So we only had one squad of air. Um, I was just joking with you guys, Waterson, but uh, we had one squad of air as well, so we had two squads total. Well, that about that about does it for server smash. I did want to announce it. You know the the sudden death. Thanks for thanks for trying. You know, good effort. If that had been a real knife fight, then somebody really would have won. <laughs> so there's always that. <laughs> but hey, that was an awesome slugfest between the two of you. I mean, that was neck and neck. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't have. A lot of people are saying this was probably one of the best server smashes we had. I I probably have to agree with. You. I'm Connery, and I loved fighting against Miller. Well, I wasn't fighting in it, but it's and I'm kind of biased towards that. But dang, I think y'all. Y'all have taken it so far, as far as 
one of the best service matches we've had. So yeah, thank you job, very Larson. much. You know, if for those of you watching, this was put on by the PS2 pickup, which is a planet side wide scrimmage. You know, competitive. Everybody gets together on a Saturday in the planet side two test server and they just kind of scrimmage each other. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you know, look at look us up and join the forums and or just pop on TeamSpeak and play with us. But Watterson Matheson. Awesome fucking job. That was that was a pretty sweet. We got a sport. question. Will you yeah, load cool. Will you load the did you record this? Will you load it to you, Jude? Yes, I will be loading this just like I did the series Cobalt, Miller, Connery. So as soon as it's done rendering and I write the article, I'll post it on Reddit and on the Gamersphere website. Right, and so. also, just well, for Farah, giving sake, just for Farah, wrap this up. Again, just a massive shout out from my side as well, guys. Closest service match we've had. Um, posted a link for PS2 pick up in the chat again. Guys, give us a shout. Come give us a play. Um, also, guys, follow IndieCast. Uh, IndieCast are the guys that are going to be casting all PS2 pickup events. They also um, do shout casting for other competitive games as well. Um, hit follow. Follow them. You always get a little notification when they go uh, go live. Um, again, guys, thank you for like hosting this and casting it. And massive shout out to both servers because it was a really good game. It's the closest we've yeah, had. Yeah, very good. That was thanks, a lot of fun. Madison, thanks for having us. Yeah, it was good fun, guys. All right, um, this is that. This is the end of server smash. Go ahead and uh, shut it all down. Have a good day. Oh, we'll see you guys. Good job, Watterson. Good job, guys. 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 Good job, guys